What's up YouTube, Bull here with a video tutorial on how to set up the AT Launcher. First we're going to go to the AT Launcher website and the download page. We're going to scroll down and we're going to choose either Windows, Mac OS X, or Linux based on our computer. We're using Windows. So we're going to click once. We're going to download to our default download path which is set to the desktop for me. We're going to minimize this window. There's your AT Launcher on the desktop. We're going to right click, new, and folder to create a brand new folder. We're going to change that folder name to AT Launcher and then we're going to drag and drop the AT Launcher into that folder. From there we're going to double click on the folder and double click on the launcher. We're going to hit yes to run. After it started running it's going to extract all the files needed for the AT launcher in that folder we just created. Then we're going to choose our language. As soon as it's done, there it is. We click next. And then there's a brand new install of the AT launcher. Now we're going to go to settings, the bottom right. Then we're going to go to the second tab, Java Minecraft. From there, we're going to go to the initial RAM. We're going to set that to 1024. If you have less RAM, you may have to go lower. 1024 is equal to 1 gig. And then we want our maximum RAM to be at 4096, which is 4 gigs. We want our perm gen to match our initial RAM, which is 1024. And I'm just going to change my video output for default launching. The Java path is important. That means we're running off of a Java 7 path. If you don't have Java 7, there'll be a link in the description below. And then you click save, save settings, and then we're going to have to add a new account. Okay, so I've added my account. You can see that everything's set up the same way, and my account is at the bottom there, I-A-U-L-L. -L. Then we're going to go to instances. We have no instances, so we need to create an instance. Let's go to packs. We're going to scroll through all the optional packs. We're going to go down to, till we hit vanilla Minecraft. There it is. Then we're going to click on new instance. You can choose from any version you want. We're just going to choose the latest one. Hit next. And there it goes. It's not a very long install because vanilla doesn't have any mods, but you could always add mods. At this time, you just wait for it. It's not going to take very long, like I had said. I click OK. There's our instances right there. You can see vanilla. And we're going to go to the folder, click on instances. We're going to go to vanilla Minecraft. That's one we just made. And then we can go to the mods folder. If you wanted to add mods, you could do it right there. Let's back it out. We're going to go back to our HE Launcher folder. It's on the desktop. And we're going to close that down. What we're going to do is we're going to create a desktop shortcut for the AT Launcher. With that window still open, just right click on the AT Launcher, go to Send To, Desktop, Create Shortcut. From there, your, your shortcut's already set up. Now we're going to move the AT Launcher folder off the desktop to our local disk C. Now all you need to do is double click on the AT Launcher, click on Yes, and your AT Launcher is all set up, ready to go. If you have any questions or concerns or need help with anything else, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you very much.